In your experience, Jim, is there an ideal roster size where, barring injuries, everyone can be used? Like, say, a 30-man wrestling roster. If so, how many singles, tag teams, women's matches would there be? (laughs) Also, what would the ideal number of belts be for said promotion? Can a wrestling company of today have an ideal size as well? Oh, good Lord. Let me just get my uh, uh, my protractor out. And uh, do they even use those things anymore in school? Don't you don't even have to do what I'm what talking about. I had one in school, but I don't know if they still do. All right. Well, well, all right. You're old enough. But anyway, nevertheless, there's no, 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 just no. Um, <laughs> it's how much, you, you, how much you can afford for one thing. Uh, but it, it, there's no ideal size. There's no ideal formula. Um, how many tag teams? Well, that depends. Are you in the Carolinas or Tennessee, or are you in Texas or Minnesota? Because if you're in Carolinas, Tennessee, you need to have more tag teams. See, it's just, it, it's ridiculous. And it's also how much you can afford. And it's also to fill out the, and if you're just want, running one car, one town a night, I, I, I say if you're running one town a night, nobody runs one town a night anymore. If, but, if, but seriously, you, you can't, why you would have 30 people on a fucking card. If you're an independent promotion is beyond me. Um, but they do it. Uh, but I, even in, in ring of honor, that's one of the reasons why I think the folks didn't like the first year of the Sinclair era and said, Oh, that cornet, he's the Grinch is because I'd rather have 18 guys that people know who they are and are featured and are credible professionals and can be paid halfway like professionals without the company losing an arm and a leg instead of 30 guys where the company loses an arm and a leg and both sets of nuts or uh, you clutter up the show with guys that shouldn't be on that show with those other professionals. But anyway, I digress. Uh, if you can't draw a house with more than, uh, with less than, uh, if you need more than 18 wrestlers on a card to draw a house, chances are you drew the same house you'd have drawn with 18 fucking guys. Um, but it, 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 there's no formula. It's once again, and it's not, you know, they mentioned the, the people at impact wrestling want to, uh, they want to focus on more on wrestling and less on talk. It depends on who's, who's doing the wrestling and who's doing the talking. There's a lot of people that could wrestle and people won't watch as much as they watch the rock talk, but there's a, in, in reverse, there's also a lot of people that like to see the right. You need to have a balance and you need to have people in those spots that people want to watch. Both those things need to happen. And so there's no formula. Do more of the good stuff and less of the bad stuff. How many stuff. shows were there in Tennessee? You think with six men on the whole show? Oh, God. well, actually, and when you count the referee now, here's the thing. It would be a single match. There's two guys and a referee. There's three. Then the next match is a single match. There's five guys. Then the next match would be those guys back in a tag right. match. <laughs> <laughs> and then potentially a, a single main event. So, you are you know, but if there was a manager, you'd get out at eight. Yeah. And those matches and those shows would go two hours. Those people would have a good time in Rabbit Ridge, Kentucky, or Hopkinsville, or wherever the fucking case may be. And they would have seen some TV wrestling stars, and and they would have paid three or four dollars for it. And thousands of them did every week in Tennessee and Kentucky and Alabama for forty fucking years. <laughs> 